Hey there, and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. I wanted to show you my latest purchase real quick. It is this compact machine. It's ugly as hell, I know, but I'm gonna use this machine to play my old DOS games on. And let's open her up. It has a Pentium 2 350 megahertz, which is cooled passively. It has the NVIDIA uh, TNT2 video card. It has a Soundbus Alive, very cool, and it has a 3Com network adapter. The power supply unit is also fairly quiet, but the thing that makes a lot of noise, and I think I just forgot how noisy they were, are these two hard drives, these IDE hard drives. They're so freaking noisy. So the only thing right now I want to replace are the hard drives, and I'm gonna replace it by this SSD, which uses serial ATA, which will be a challenge. So, let's go. Well, connecting this directly won't work, of course, because the IDE connection, um, well, it's a 40 pin connector and uh, it won't fit, obviously, and the power connector, Molex, won't fit either. So we need a converter. Well, luckily, I have a converter. So we're going to try and fit it inside the computer. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the old hard drives because I won't be using them anymore. So the drive I'm using is a 2.5 inch drive, which is for laptops and desktops use the 3.5 inch like this one that we just removed. So we need something to make this fit inside the computer for which I have this. Okay, nice. Now it's ready to go in. Okay, something I didn't anticipate, but the compact screws, uh, which uh, are used in a sort of rail system, don't fit inside this little converter. So, um, I'm going to have to think of a solution for this. Okay, so that wasn't easy. The holes were a little too small for the compact screws, but I got them in eventually by brute force. So this is the little converter with on one side the IDE part with the 40 pin connector, the power connector and a master slave switch. And on the other side is the serial ATA connection. So let's connect the hard drive to the serial ATA part of the connector and the um, jumper is set to master which is good because this is the only drive on this IDE cable click and now we connect the cables so that's it let's see if we can install Windows 98 Okay, I put the computer back in its place and let's turn it on and see if it actually boots. While it turns on, that's nice. Let us press setup. Uh, this is working. So let's go to storage, IDE devices, and it actually, yes, it actually sees the 30 gig drive here on the master connection on the first IDE cable, so that's good, and it sees the CD-ROM drive on the second cable as master. Let's see if we can boot from floppy and create a partition. Well, it turned dark outside. I've been messing around with this computer for a while now. It seems that my disk drive has broken down. Awesome. 
Um, well, it's old, so what are you gonna do? So um, I managed to boot off my Windows 98 CD. So let's see if we can format the new drive. Um, I don't believe D is the CD-ROM drive and there is a Windows 98 folder and we're gonna do F-Disk. We want support for large drives. Every should be yes. Currently fixed drive one. Okay, that sounds good. It found one fixed drive and we're gonna create a DOS partition, a primary DOS partition. No space to create. That's annoying. Hold on, display. Oh, it already has a partition. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the current partition. Delete non DOS partition. Yes, yes. Non DOS partition deleted. Create DOS partition primary. Okay, it's gonna verify the drive. This is gonna take a while, and then it's gonna ask if I want to use the maximum size for this partition, which I do. I just want one partition, one big drive. Okay, now it says to reboot, which we will. It's going to try and boot from the CD ROM again. Yep, and we're gonna start the computer with CD ROM support. Because now we created the partition, now we're gonna format the partition. Format C will slash Q work. Envelop existing, oh yeah, it's uh, because it's not already formatted, I cannot do the quick format, which makes sense. So this will take a while. All right, the formatting is done. It's right in the fat table. And now we can give it a label, which will be win 98, I guess. C. Oh yes, a fresh and clean drive. So let's start the Windows 98 setup. Uh, start disk, skip low memory, don't want scan disk, don't billboards, and skip the, the registry check. Nice. Well, I'm not gonna bore you with uh, Windows 98 setup, but I will show you the end result. Well, what do you know? It worked. Uh, Windows 98 is currently running off the SSD drive that is connected with the uh, serial ATA to IDE converter, which is awesome. It's so much quieter now. Yes, I'm really happy. Uh, it should also be faster uh, within the bounds of IDE, of course. But um, yeah, this is a really cool change. I'll go and install a VGA driver, sound drivers, uh, but as you can see, it's working, so very cool. So for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.